In the final part of this section, you're going to use the XML file you created earlier with the Save As Daisy in Word. The pipeline is the tool which translates the XML into a readable Daisy book. So, first of all, you need to locate your exported file, or any other file you've created, and import it to the Daisy pipeline. Simply select the Create Your Own DTB or Open Your Saved XML template with the Daisy Pipeline option from the Create and Convert menu. OK, so now you should be able to see the pipeline in view. If there's a Welcome menu, uh, just select the Exit option to close it down. And you should now see something like this, the Daisy Pipeline interface. Before you translate or convert anything, you first of all need to do a bit of fine-tuning, just so everything works without any hitches. To do this, on the menu bar, go to Window, then select Preferences, and under the Preferences menu, select Paths. You need to do a couple of things here. First of all, select the lame executable path. This is what converts your text to an MP3. So if you're running this from your USB drive, go to Browse, then find the drive your USB drive is on, possibly E or F, or in this case you can see mine is on M. Then select the FS command, then the DAISY pipeline folder. Inside the DAISY pipeline folder, select the EXT, the extension folder, and then the LAME application. Your path directory should be something similar to this. If you're running Create and Convert from the desktop, then follow the same instructions, but set the path to your desktop folder. You only need to do this once. Daisy Pipeline will also convert images to an accessible readable format, as long as they have been given an image or alternative tag. Create and Convert comes with image magic. So all you need to do again is set the path. To do this, go to Browse, then select where you have the Create and Convert located. So again it could be a USB drive, it could be E, F or M. Go to the FS command folder, then the DAISY pipeline folder, and open the Image Magic folder, and select the Convert application. Choose Open and it should look similar to this. Finally select the OK button and again you only need to do this once. Great! You're ready to proceed and create and convert your first DAISY talking book which is essentially converting a text document to an audio format which is navigable. So first of all on the pipeline go to File and New and Pipeline Job. So select New and then Pipeline Job. This brings up the new Job Wizard window. There are three options, but within each option there are additional options to choose from. For this tutorial, select Create and Distribute the DAISY Book, and finally DAISY 2.02 Text Only File Set Generator. Please don't worry about some of the jargon as it can initially appear to be quite complex. When you become more confident, then feel free to experiment with the various options. I'll just go through that again, so that's just the, the new job wizard, uh, there are three options, uh, so you want to choose the Create and Distribute the DAISY Book, finally DAISY 2.02 Text Only File Set Generator. OK, now select the next button. In the new window that appears, this is where you import the full DAISY file you created earlier. It would be good at this stage to use the template example that you saved to your desktop or your chosen location, essentially the one that you created earlier. First of all go to Browse and choose the file. Now select an output folder. This could be the same folder you used before or even a new folder for storing all your converted files. There's no need to tamper with any of the other settings, just select the Finish button. Finally, select the Run option. If you have other, other DAISY files ready, you can also import multiple files and convert them as a batch. If you've used the, the template, DAISY Pipeline will convert the files without any problems. If a problem is reported in one of your own files, 
Make sure you check things such as the page numbering, heading levels, etc. You're now ready to move to the next stage, which is to read your converted daisy book in the free daisy reader AMI or AMIS. OK, so to open uh, AMI, it's just a case of going to the Create and Convert menu and selecting the Open AMI to listen to your converted talking book, just here. So let's uh, open AMI from the menu. And when AMI opens, then it's just a case of importing the file that you've created earlier. And to do that, that's a case of going to File, uh, File Open. You can see there's also an option for a CD, so you can burn the file to a CD as well. But File, Open, we're going to do this from the desktop. And we're looking for an extension that has the NCC on it. So that's the extension that the, the AMI will, will recognise. So let's, whether it is there, let's open this up. And uh, AMI also has self-voicing, so you'll probably hear it talking as you're going through. And there's our document. You can see on the left hand side we've got the level heading structure that's been brought in from the headings that we put in. We can pause the play, uh, fast forward it from there as well, uh, increase the, the playback, the speed of the, the voice and change the magnification as well as the colour backgrounds. And you can also add uh, a bookmark, so there's a, a bookmarking option here so if you want to revisit uh, a place with ease and quickness you can revisit that on the bookmark. So there you have it, there's your first um, Daisy Talking Book from start to finish. Well done.